Welcome back to the show. This is Rise Today with me, Amanda Moniki. And um, remember that we had asked you before the break whether or not kazi ni kazi. What do you think about that particular issue? Does it matter how you go about getting your money as long as at the end of the day you have food on your table and a few shillings in your pocket? Does it matter? J. Kazi ni kazi. I had asked you to SMS me on 22766 and also tweet on at KUTV Kenya and also tweet me personally on at Mandy Monix. On Facebook, we are KUTV Kenya as well. Now, I have a very special guest with me. She is the second um, person to be here with us in the studio and she is Doris Thomas. She is a fashion designer with a passion for fashion. Let us meet her and give her a chance to introduce herself to us and what exactly that she does. Hello, my dear. Hi. How are you doing? Oh, fine, thank you. Nasuka Onyambie, your name and what you do exactly. Okay, I'm Doris Thomas and I'm a designer. Yeah. You're, you're Doris Thomas and you're a designer. Yeah. So tell me, how did this business idea come about? Okay, it's all about passion. Uh, I used to love it since I was a kid. So I decided to do it for several people motivate me and I think the best thing I can do. Mm. Mm. You just love any mm. fashion too in Kupendeza. Wakapena nakasema you have to do it. Yeah. So kujua, do you have to study for fashion to be a fashion designer? Hapana. Did you study for it at all? Hapana. Ulifanya nini shuleni? Tourism. Tourism. Yeah. You're doing nothing regarding <laughs> tourism at all, Paisi. Yeah, nothing. So are you in fashion um full time? Yeah, full time. Like Monday to Saturday, morning to evening, that's what I'm mm. Okay. Mm. As an Asko Nyambie, how long have you been up in the fashion industry? It's about two and a half years now. Mm. Yeah. Now, Nani Anako Inspire, who made you want to join? Okay. Ni watu wengi wamenivutia katika kufanya hili, akiopo Victoria Beckham and more designers out there. Mm. Mm. <coughs> no, let's go like in the <coughs> uh, I beg your pardon. Mm. Um let's go in MBA. Um exactly what kind of attire do you make? Ni African, ni Kizungu, ni MBA. Okay. I do mix. Oh mda mwingine nafanya za Africa, mda mwingine nafanya officials, mm. mda mwingine nafanya hizo nyingine. So mimi huchanganya zote okay. kwa laume na wanawake mu design zote. Okay. Yeah. And are you wearing your own design? Yes, of course. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sasa hii tuambie tuambie kwa juu. Official, is it African? Okay, this is African. Mm. Yeah. Cuz I have some ankara over here and a khaki mix of it. Mm. Yeah. So what kind of event can you go with such an attire? For this you can go to for a wedding or you can do it for a show mm. or even for a carpet. Can you maybe do it for official wear? No. It, it can't go for official wear? Yeah, it can't. Okay, Sanat Kapujua, how does the fashion industry affect your personal life? Do your friends support you? Ama do they expect you, like, wape vitu vya bure because you're the one who's making the clothes? How is it? Kupande mungine, huni hathiri kwa uzuri na kubaya pia. Kwa sababu kuna... Kuna mdo unapata hizo challenge. Hata kitambo ni anze, wazazu wangu haukuwa na kubaliana nalo. Mm. Wanyambia kwa nini usifanya kazi yenye umesomea. Tourism. Uh, yeah. Mm. So ni kawambia, it's like, iki ndo kitu nimependa. Ili, so, ili kuwa, ni challenge sana ili kupitia yote, but mm. you just follow your heart. Yeah. yeah. Na marafiki je? Pia. Wamekupa support ama walikata? Wachache. 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 Yeah, wachache sana. Wengi wakajitenga so ila baadaye walivona kazi vile inaendelea nzuri wakarudi mm. yeah. and do they support you in terms of buying your products ama wana expect to wape bure 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 they buy it. oh they buy it. Yeah. they give you support now that you're actually making it yeah that's good nasa you know now in kenya you you are actually from tanzania yes so kenya tanzania uganda let's say east africa in general um the fashion industry is really becoming big yeah. and there's so much competition so what do you do kujitenga now? What do you do to make sure uko hapo mbele that you are in the lead? Okay. Kitu ya kwanza ni Mungu. Mm. Huwa mara nyingi namombaga Mungu aniongoze kwa kila ninalotenda. Kitu cha pili ni kuhakikisha 
mteja ama client anakuwa anafurahia kwa sababu atakapofurahi hatarudi tena na atatuma watu wengine atasema nenda kwa yule alinishonia kitu kizuri nenda kwa yule alinisaidia so kitu kizuri ni client satisfaction mm. yeah na you know many people so actually many let's say lower lower middle wananchi kawaida tuseme tu they prefer to buy things which are so affordable utaona watu wakienda gikomba wakienda adams toy to buy second hand clothes where they know they can find a variety of so many things at cheap prices mm. kwa hivyo do you think your prices iko affordable for kila mwananchi or where are they okay kwa mfano kwa gharama zangu mm. zimetegemea na hitaji la mtu kwa sababu tuko na material tofauti tofauti na design tofauti tofauti so mtu yote anaweza afford mm. yeah wewe mwenyewe as a fashionista na kona mm. you're looking very good very smart <laughs> thank you do you you wear your own clothes so because you are a fashion designer is there pressure for you to look good at all times lazima ungare ukae mrembo yeah so you can't leave the house just looking no more like some of us <laughs> no <laughs> Oh. And I know this journey as a fashion designer you said you've done it for how many years? Two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yeah. I'm sure it has not been easy the whole way. Yeah. You've gone through so many challenges. So I want you to share with me challenges ambazo umepitia. Mm, challenges ni mengi. Mm. Haswa sawa kwa competitors because in ili kuzi overcome hizo challenge in a fact updated like every week you have new designs every week you have new ideas so you can give the best to your clients mm. yeah what other challenges do you face do you face maybe challenges like labda unampa mtu like a product alafu anakataa kukulipa ama even maybe transporting maybe the dress to the clients okay for the inside of the country that's a big challenge but the outside of the country that is a big challenge mm. like kuna watu tunashonea kwa US na wapi so your process ya kutuma it's a big challenge mm. yeah and on this journey of yours now you are an entrepreneur mm. you are self employed in the fashion industry yeah. what lessons have you learned i'm sure ume umejua vitu vingi sasa from the time you began mm, nimejifunza mengi mm. na changamoto kubwa ni kujiweka tayari muda mm. wote na kuzifuatiliza mm. yeah so, so what can you advise the youth about uh, ku, ku succeed in entrepreneurship? Um, kitu ambacho ningeweza kuwashauri mm. ni kujitolea cause ukitaka kuwa entrepreneur you have to really sacrifice mm. your time, your energy, your capital whatever cause mm. hii kitu si rahisi. Mm ukianza si rahisi but ukitegemea Mungu and you do work hard I'm sure utafika mahali mm. Mm. okay so i'm so grateful for you for taking your time kuwa hapa kutuelezea about your business and mm. all that you've gone through i'm sure kuna watu wengi ambao they've learned actually from what you've shared with us especially young and upcoming youth ambao wanataka kuwa entrepreneurs pia mm -hmm. so now today we had an issue that we were tackling here on mm -hmm. rise today ulisikia nikiuliza j kazi ni kazi what do you think about it? Because you, you know many people go about so many ways of getting money. You know all these social lights as somebody may come up. Mm -hmm. uh, there are people who rob even in political offices corruption. So what do you think about that? J, kazi ni kazi. Kazi ni kazi. Mm. Lakini inategemea natagemea. Yeah, ukiwa na hofu ya Mungu kuna kazi zingine ambazo uwezi fanya. Mm. Lakini ukiwa una hofu ya Mungu utasema kazi yote ni kazi. Mm. But mimi nasema kazi ya halali ndio kazi. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. That is great. That is great. Doris Thomas, I am so grateful for you for coming here today. She is a fashion designer and her her you, it is called City Fisher Clothing. City Fisher. City Fisher. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's great. I'm so grateful for you, to you rather, and um, that is it for today. And I actually want to sample a couple of the views and opinions that we have gotten here on Rise today regarding the issue of the day. J Kazi Nikazi. Um, we have James Ngatia here who says, Abel is right. As long as you are ethical and have integrity, it is okay.
Someone else here called Tom Bilu has tweeted and says, "Look to God, and He will uh, look to God, and He will provide, regardless of your situation. Do not be desperate." And Peter Peter Pito says, "Endeleni vivyo hivyo. You guys are doing a very good and excellent job. So thank you for all your viewpoints and opinions. We are grateful. We have really enjoyed our time here on Rise today. On Tuesdays, you know, it is all about business. Here with me, Amanda Moniki. Have a wonderful day ahead. Keep it KUTV." Thank you.